Hello and welcome to Daily Reflection with Anil Rana. Today is the 28th of July 2019. We're going to reflect on Luke 11, 1 to 13, a long one. Listen. Jesus was praying in a certain place, and after he had finished, one of his disciples said to him, Lord, teach us to pray as John taught his disciples. And Jesus said to them, When you pray, say, Father, hallowed be your name, your kingdom come. Give us each day our daily bread and forgive us our sins as for we ourselves forgive everyone indebted to us and do not bring us to the time of trial. And he said to them, Suppose one of you has a friend and you go to him at midnight and say to him, Friend, lend me three loaves of bread for a friend of mine has arrived and I have nothing to set before him. And he answers from within, do not bother me, the door has already been locked and my children are with me in bed. I cannot get up and give you anything. I tell you, even though he will not get up and give him anything because he's his friend, at least because of his persistence, he will get up and give him whatever he needs. So I say to you, ask and it will be given you. Search and you will find. Knock and the door will be opened to you. For... Everyone who asks receives, and everyone who searches finds, and for everyone who knocks, the door will be opened. Is there anyone among you who, if your child asks for a fish, will give a snake instead of a fish? Or if the child asks for an egg, will give a scorpion? If you then, who are evil, know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more will the Heavenly Father give the Holy Spirit to those who ask Him? The Gospel of the Lord. A few months ago, I spoke about some of the apparent contradictions we come across in the Bible, and today we hit two seemingly huge ones. We find the apostles going to Jesus and asking him to teach them to pray. In the Gospel of Matthew, he says to them, when you pray, do not keep on babbling like the pagans because they think they will be heard because of the many words they say. Do not be like them, for your Father knows what you need before you ask Him. That's Matthew 6, 8. Aside from the obvious lesson that we shouldn't be too wordy in our prayers, there is also the implication that we don't need to keep presenting our needs to our Father because He already knows what we need before we ask Him. This makes sense, especially if you look at the context in which human parents take care of their children. Our kids don't need to ask us to give them food, clothing, or shelter, do they? But how does this reconcile with what Jesus is quoted saying in Luke's Gospel to keep asking persistently? And the second contradiction relates to something else that Jesus says. He says that if we, though evil, know how to give good gifts to our children, how much more will our Father in heaven give good gifts to those who ask Him? And He also says, ask and you will receive. But this is not our experience, is it? We have asked Him for so many things, often good things, but have not received them. We've also lost people we love to senseless accidents and equally senseless tragedies despite our persistent prayers. So what gives? Okay, one thing at a time. First, about our needs. One day Jesus said, Seek first my kingdom and my righteousness, and all your needs will be met as well. God knows our needs and will provide for them, but wants us to focus on the really important things, his kingdom and his righteousness. We need to ask him about these needs rather than the basic necessities of life because that comes automatically. Second, about the other thing that we ask for that God doesn't give us. Speaking for him, the prophet Isaiah once said, My thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways my ways. As the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. God has his reasons for answering or not answering prayers, and I won't pretend I know what they are. What I do know is, as Paul said, that in all things God works for the good of those who love him. And that's good enough for me. And I hope it's good enough for you too.